everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, you guys are studying one of my favorite artists, Georgia O'Keeffe, this week. And just so happens, I have a great book to share with you this week. So I'm going to be showing you that now. Hope you have fun with this week's assignment. I'll see you soon. Through Georgia's Eyes Georgia's first memory. She will always remember these colors and the brightness of light, light all around. Soon, Georgia runs and plays games with her brothers and sisters. Her father gives her sweets and plays Irish tunes. Her mother reads stories and cares for the younger children. Everyone works hard on the farm. Georgia roams the prairie. The trees and land keep her company. Pencil and sketch pad comfort her. She discovers she likes to be alone. Seasons melt into seasons on her family's farm. Georgia struggles to show on paper what she sees. At 12, she takes painting lessons. She tells her friend, I'm going to be an artist. But in 1899, only boys became artists. A girl wishing to be one is scandalous. Georgia sees life differently. She paints and paints. Hours pass without notice. She wonders if she can achieve her dream. She walks around a lake and hikes into the woods. Everywhere she looks, shapes hum and sing to her. At art school, she brushes and canvas become her language. Paint speaks for her. Watercolor and oil are her words. For a time, Georgia lives in the city. She walks through canyons of concrete. She misses the outdoor world. The sun steals a bite from a skyscraper. The faraway place, open sky and land, call to her. The wideness and wonder of the world amaze Georgia. She wants to share this magic with others. Flowers delight her. She paints them as giants. People stop to stare. Georgia's flowers make them feel like tiny butterflies flitting through the universe of her garden. She moves to Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. Red hills, cliffs, silence, and the faraway surround her. In the desert, she discovers extraordinary things. Skulls. The bones don't frighten Georgia. To her, they are alive and strong. Their beauty astounds her. Georgia expresses feelings in her own way. Words work, but for her, the color blue says it better. Or red, or a seashell. A pale bone, sunset. The trees and hills whisper their secrets. They are friends, always there for her. A canyon calls her. From the bottom at dusk, she sees a long line of cows above black lace against a dusty sky. She hikes at dawn. She climbs a ridge. The land enchants her. A range of hills is a mile of elephants with white sand at their feet. Sometimes her dog tags along. He hops around rocks and chases antelope. They float ahead of her, yelping dog. Georgia follows them. She breathes in the dawn. A sea of sage covers the plain before a mountain like waves lapping against the shore. Sometimes she climbs a ladder to her roof. The moon rises above. Beneath a giant canvas of inky night and silvery stars, Georgia dreams. Even now, Georgia can show you the world as she sees it. Open your eyes and walk along. See the colors? Hear the shapes singing? No need to hurry. Lean in. Look closer. Closer still. There. The wideness and wonder of the world. A 
hope you enjoy the book as much as I did.